starting the uh, the chapter that is the bending of the curved bars. In our earlier lecture, we have understood how the uh, curved bars are being used in our day to day life and in the machine part as well. And in the previous lecture, we had determined the one factor that is x square. The x square was a constant which was to be find out uh, for the different different type of cross section. And we have studied like a different cross section are like it may be a triangular cross section, it may be a rectangular cross section, it may be a trapezoidal cross section, and it may be a circular cross section also. So we will be finding out this x square as per the type of cross section we are using for that particular curved bar. मान लीजिए आपके पास एक सरिया है उसका सर्कुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन है तो उस केस में एक्स के ऊपर अलग होगा और अगर आपके पास जो कोई भी बार है जिसका आपने कर्व भी बनाया कर्व कर दिया है उसको आप यूज कर रहे हैं और उसका क्रॉस सेक्शन ट्रायंगुलर है इन दैट केस योर एक्स के ऊपर सो वी विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट द एक्स स्क्वायर फॉर रेक्टेंगल फॉर ट्रायंगल फॉर ट्रैपेजोइडल फॉर द सर्कुलर इन आवर लेक्चर But in today's lecture, first of all, we will be find uh, learn how to find out the x square. First of all, in our later slide, today's lesson, our agenda is to find out x square for the rectangular cross section. In next lectures, we will be learning how to find out the x square for triangle and for trapezoidal and for circular section. So let us start today's lecture. In our previous lecture, we had learned what is the value of a x square. Where a is the cross sectional area of the cross section. Let it be. This is the cross section. This is the rectangular cross section. Who is of any dimension b into d. So a over here will be equal to b into d. Similarly, if it is a triangular cross section, then the capital A will be your half of base into i. Similarly, if it is a trapezoidal, the cross sectional area will be This much and if it's this much, this is pi by four. This. Now let us uh, find out. We had uh, determined a term y square into d a upon one plus pi by r. Where pi was the uh, you can say y is the strip where you were willing. Where y is the distance from the strip to the centroidal axis. Where you were willing to find out the stress. So. This is equal to a x square. Now I have mean, I have already mentioned you that today's lecture is based upon how to find out x square only. Now x square will be equal to a upon which I have r upon a. This is uh, this is equal into d a. So r upon this I have multiplied here. I have here. So from here x square will be equal to one by a. A को multiply करके one by a. यहां से आर को मैंने यहां से इसको सॉल्व कर लिया तो आर का ऊपर चला जाएगा आर प्लस वाई ऊपर यार इसको मैंने आर को बाहर निकाला दैट आर बाई ए वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन वाई प्लस आर इन टू थ्री नाउ और आर बाई ए अभी आप व्हाट व्हाट वी आर डूइंग सो सो एस टू सिंपलीफाई दिस इंटीग्रेशन बिकॉज दिस इंटीग्रेशन सिंस टू बी डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व वाई स्क्वायर ऑफ द बॉक्स साइड एंड वाई इज इन द लोअर साइड आल्सो सो दिस इज अ डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व So as to make it easier to solve, because y is variable over here, y is varying from zero to maximum. So on maximum, uh, minimum to maximum, not zero, but like minimum to maximum. So x square will be equal to r by a as it is. Y square के अंदर हमने r square plus b r plus r square b minus कर दिया बाकी सेम है. Okay, that's all. Now we are again solving it. We are making it a part y square minus r square अलग से रख दिया. Plus y square upon this much b square. Now we are solving it again. This is a square minus b square का formula हमने यहाँ पे लगा दिया. Y minus r plus y minus r plus this is equal to this much. Now y this is getting cancelled from here. This cancelled from this one. So r by a as it is outside integration of y minus r जो है खाली यहाँ पे plus r square upon r plus y into c. So this is Now again, opening this bracket, this is D A. This is integration of y into D A, integration of r into D A plus integration of r square upon r plus y. Now we have found this integration of y into D A will be equal to zero because we are trying to integrate the length with respect to area. Does not mean anything. So integration in this case will be equal to zero. Now. Integration of r into d 
Okay, so this is the uh, uh, integration of area about the uh, radius of curvature, about the radius of curvature, which will be equal to dA. This radius of curvature means the complete, uh, if you uh, revolve around the radius of curvature like this, the complete area will be covered in that way. So that is why integration of R into dA will be equal to R into T. Now we will be putting these two values in this equation. In this step, like here, here, here. Let us see these values in our spinal column. At square of a. So integration of y into t a that was equal to zero. Integration of r into t a that was equal to r into a that we have already mentioned. Again, integration here we are done. Now what we are doing? R into a in many other multiply can be r into a into r a plus r into a r square k mila. A से मेरा A से A cancel हो गया, so this is R square minus R square remainder plus R square into R this is R into by A integration of अंदर मेरा बच गया one upon R into this is equation number one. So this is the main equation for finding out x square and this is the generalized equation which will be applicable for all the sides. How it will be applicable? What we are going to do? We are going to put the value of a, y, and d over here. Let it be. आपके पास है angular section है. इसका आपका जो ये ये d है ये d. In this case, what will be a? B into d. We have assumed this trick over here. This is d by whose thickness is d by. So what is the d a value of d over here? Into d by right third term is here y so y will be here as it is so let us try to learn how to find out the value of x square for this cross section means the rectangular cross section के लिए x square का value कैसे find out करेंगे वो अभी हम लोग देखते हैं so this is our topic number two of today's topic let us find out x square for rectangular cross section Let it be. This is our rectangular cross section, which I have drawn over here. Both the thickness intersection will be, and this is D. Dimensions are B and D, and this is the centroidal axis, and G is the centroid where the whole mass is considered to be concentrated. Now we have assumed a strip at a distance y from the centroid whose thickness is D y. And obviously this is d by two and this is d by two. That is quite clear. So this is your red line is your centroid. Now, what will be the area of this strip? The area of this strip this is b into d by. So this is 